All right, so this is gonna be an allegation problem. So to process the prescription order for 15% dextrose solution, the pharmacy has 2.5% and 30% of dextrose stock solution. How many mils of each are necessary to obtain one liter of a 15% dextrose solution? So this is a perfect example, like I said, of an allegation where the doctor prescribes a strength that you don't have at the pharmacy. But what you do have is you have one strength and another strength. What this problem is going to help you find out is how much of each one you need to get that one liter of the 15% solution. So first thing that we're going to do is I like to set it up like a tic-tac-toe. So if you just make the bars like a tic-tac-toe, okay, and this is going to help you set it up perfectly. All right, so in the top left corner right here, you're going to put your strength one, okay? So if you have strength one, and then you can pick whichever one you want. There is no order in which one you're supposed to pick or whatnot, but I like to pick just the first one that I see. So the 2.5%, okay? Now the one down here is going to be strength two or S2, and that's going to, of course, be your other strength. Now this box right here, that doesn't really matter. That box isn't going to matter, that box isn't going to matter, and that box isn't going to matter. Okay? So what goes here is going to be the desired strength. Okay? So whatever the doctor prescribes for it. So the doctor prescribes for 15%. So next thing that you have to do is you're going to multiply it downward. Or not multiply, you're going to subtract it. So 2.5% Subtract the 15%, and that's going to give you 13.5%. Sorry, I apologize. It's 12.5%. So you have 12, and it's not percent either. I'm sorry. So it's just 12.5, and then if you subtract it up this way, it's going to be 15. Negatives are never an option when you come to when you deal with these, okay? So next thing that you have to do is you have to add both of these together. So 15 plus 12.5 is going to be 27.5. All right, so these numbers right here, the 15 and the 12.5, is going to be your ratio. So for every 15 parts of the 2.5%, you're going to have 12.5 parts of the 30%. So next thing, I'm just going to draw another line, which kind of gets rid of the whole tic-tac-toe idea. But... Um, it'll help out. And so then what goes right here is going to be the desired quantity. The desired quantity. So the desired quantity is going to be one liter. But see how they're asking for one milliliter right here? That means we want this number to be in milliliters or whatever it's asking for. So if you want to convert the one liter to one, th or to one milliliter, how many milliliters is that? I kind of gave it away but it's going to be a thousand milliliters, a thousand milliliters. Okay. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take the 15 divided by the 27.5 times the thousand milliliters. And that's going to equal, that's going to equal 545, so 545.5 milliliters, and then you do the same thing down here. So you have 12.5 divided by 27.5 times 1,000, 12.5 divided by 27.5 times 1,000, that's going to give us 454.5 milliliters. Now when you add this one up and you add this one up, do you have any idea what it equals? That's right, it equals a thousand. It equals a thousand milliliters. So now what you can do is you're going to read it left to right, okay? So from here, those go together. Those ones right there go together. And then you have this one down here that goes together. Now, if the question asks for what's the ratio, you're going to want to look at these right here. So the ratio is going to be 15 to 12.5. 15 to 12.5. Okay. So this, what this is telling you is that you're going to need 545.5 milliliters 
of the 2.5 solution and 454.5 milliliters of the 30% solution to get 1,000 milliliters of the 15% solution. And that is how you do an allegation.